So today we're talking about multiplying and dividing integers. The rules that you need to think about when you're multiplying and dividing integers are a positive times a negative is going to give you a negative. A positive divided by a negative is going to give you a negative. So if we're going to use this in numbers, then 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. So a positive times a negative is a negative. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. A positive divided by a negative is going to give you a negative number as well. Negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. So again, a positive divided by a negative is going to give you a negative. Negative. Negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. If you have two positives, on the other hand, it's going to give you a positive answer. If you're dividing by two positives, it's going to give you a positive answer. Dividing and multiplying by two positives is what we're already used to. When we were in elementary school, um, when we were younger, we would divide and multiply numbers, and we would always be dividing and multiplying numbers that are positive numbers. So that being said, six times three, positive six times positive three, is positive 18. 18 divided by 6 is 3. Again, that's positive 18 divided by positive 6 is positive 3. Two numbers that are positive, multiplied or divided, will always give you a positive number. It's what we've always done when we multiply and divide our numbers in elementary school. So, Dividing and multiplying by positive and negative integers, that's kind of new and introduced at the middle school level. So that's why we have to review it. Positive times a negative is a negative. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Positive divided by a negative is a negative. Negative 15 divided by positive 3 is negative 5. Now the tricky one, tricky for me too, is I have to remember that two negative numbers multiplied or divided become positive numbers. Well, what's up with that? I don't know. All I know is that two positives, sorry, excuse me, two negatives multiplied together or two negatives divided together give you a positive. Negative seven times negative nine is positive 63. Negative 7 times negative 9. Two negative numbers multiplied together is a positive number. Negative 7 times negative 9 is 63. Negative 63 divided by negative 9 is positive 7. Who would have thought that? Two negative numbers when multiplied and divided give you a positive number. Negative to positive. Just tell it is in math. Thanks.